see how the arm flexes and bends and then straightens out. The arm can flex here, then it can straighten out to make the kokyo. The jaw can't do that. It's got no joints in it. So the jaw, you have to make up the difference for, for what the jaw can't do. And then it'll pay you back by giving you the extension. Here. I can't get it over here, so I'll move my body over here and then extend. So if I want to turn with the jaw, I have to move all the way around here to extend the jaw because I can't haul them around here because it's connected to my shoulder. I have to move my body around to get the extension. But if he's traveling, I just have to latch onto his movement. He's already traveling this way, so I just have to latch onto it. So I haven't got a lot of work to do now, so it becomes a timing throw. Here. Let's put a pretty loop in it. Yeah, and you've got Kukyo. So I've use his forward energy but I've just rerouted it because his energy slowly is coming this way so I've just rerouted his energy to throw it back off that way or I can accept his energy and turn it that way and keep it going that way or I can turn inwards and let it go that way what this has given you is a massive extension. If we go to open hand, I've got more flexibility because the arm can bend. I can bend my body. I can drop underneath and throw. Turn quickly. So I've got more flexibility because of the joints in the arm. But it's the same principle. I'm rerouting it from here and taking it back across there. Connection. Turning and then dropping. So, turning and then dropping. This requires you to bend your knees. Requires you to bend your knees. Turning and then dropping. Turn, drop. Kokyo. Turn, drop. Yeah. Thank you.